Who would win in a fight, a bear or a buffalo? This seems like a very silly question, but it's one of the best tools I have discovered for understanding human behavior. So let's explore why. Here's the premise for the hypothetical fight. Adult male grizzly bear versus adult male American bison, both in their prime, peak physical condition, and both aware that this is a fight to the death. And I want you to try this experiment for yourself, so I'm going to explain how to do it. First, find a person or a group of people and ask them who they think would win in a fight, a bear or a buffalo. You'll likely get one of two responses. The first possible response is, I don't know, why? In this case, just pick a side for yourself. It doesn't matter which one, I usually go with buffalo and say something like, it's just an interesting question. Most people say bear because bears are scary, but I don't know. Buffalo are pretty underrated. I think a buffalo would probably win. If you say that, there are good odds that the person you're talking to will start defending the bear, saying that they have teeth and claws and can climb trees and run fast and so on. If you just keep arguing back and forth for a little bit, it won't be long before they are adamantly team bear. The second response you might get is something like, I don't know, probably a bear? They may say buffalo, they may say bear, it doesn't matter. What matters is you will get a fairly lukewarm, non-committal answer that leans to one side or the other. Then you need to make an argument for the other side saying, oh, I'm not sure, what about X? Pointing out some valid strength of the other animal. Keep pushing back a little and before long, their non-committal opinion will transform into a die-hard belief. This is called the backfire effect. When someone disagrees with us, our subconscious feels actively threatened. So instead of saying, huh, you might be right, instead we double down and become even more convinced that we're right. By making an argument for the other side, you virtually guarantee that your subject will double down on their new belief something they didn't even believe in five minutes ago. This is something that actually happened in my high school. It was just one of those silly questions that got passed around a bit, but things got surprisingly heated. We eventually brought in someone from the Game and Fish department whose job title was, I kid you not, Large Carnivore Conflict Coordinator. As hardcore as that job title is, unfortunately it was not his job to stage gladiatorial combat between large carnivores. He was actually supposed to prevent conflict between humans and large carnivores, which in this case mostly meant bears. So we called in this actual bear expert with decades of experience and we got his stance. He said that while they don't generally track grizzly bear deaths in the same way, so they can't be sure, they do know that there are several instances of healthy adult male bison being killed by grizzly bears. It's fairly rare, but it does happen, so he would have to give the victory to the bear. And there you have it, an expert opinion backed up by the best data we have available saying that the bear would win. So it's settled, right? Wrong. If you think something like that is going to change Team Buffalo's mind, you are dead wrong. And once again, this is the backfire effect. When presented with contrary evidence, many people will still double down, and instead of changing their opinion, will become even more convinced that their original opinion is correct. Have you heard of flat earthers? Backfire effect. So test it out. At the very least, know that if you're ever at a work or family function where conversation is veering into dangerous territory, you can derail the whole thing by asking the most opinionated people in the room about the fabled bear versus buffalo battle. And just watch as the whole room devolves into a veritable civil war. What's extra interesting is that as you've been watching this, you have been thinking of a person or maybe a group of people that this makes so much sense about. You're thinking, oh, that's how they believe that. It's totally the backfire effect. They could so use this video. For example, I just did it with flat earthers pointing out a group who is the victim of the backfire effect. But what you probably haven't been thinking out throughout this video is, oh yeah, that explains all those deeply held personal beliefs I have and why I believe them. That's because the backfire effect is incredibly easy to see in other people and almost impossible to see 
in ourselves. But you are at least aware of it now, and knowing that it happens is the first step. So go out there, try the experiment, and inform other people about the backfire effect, and together we can make the world a little bit of a better place. <laughs>